So you know how this works. We carefully land on an alien moon to mine up resources and build a giant factory to ship back to humanity. So here we are on this little planet. This is a game called Foundry. Comes out on May 2nd. If you want to check it out, there is a link down below in the video description. Also, this is a sponsored video, so shout out to Paradox for doing that. Uh, now, you guys kind of know the drill of this where we mine resources. There should be some ore hanging out. Ooh, there's some ore right over here. I can go ahead and mine. Ooh, that's some cool looking ore. I like that. The crystals and stuff. So if I mine up a bunch of this and then go to the other one, where is the other one? Oh, right over here. Cool, xenoferrite ore. We should be able to mine this stuff too. And then we can start using our processor to mine this into bars and rods or plates and rods, I think it is. Right on. So we can bring that xenoferrite ore back to here, insert it into there, and we're gonna start getting some plates. Uh, on this side, we can pop it in in the technium ore to get some rods. While they're doing that, I will need some biomass to power a refinery or a smelter. So let's chop down a few trees. We don't need those. They kind of regrow anyway. Goodbye, little fella. You're adorable and stuff, but I kind of need you for science purposes. Oh, good. Looks like the technium ore and the other one are ready. So let's take these and this. All right, so we'll need to build some building blocks. I'm gonna build up two. I think I actually need three of them. So let's just take a few more plates and rods. Craft up a third one. Now I should get 30 and we need to place down the building blocks right next to these ore mines. Let's get rid of this one. And we'll slide this into our hot bar and start building. So we can do like a five by six. Let's do a six by five. Beautiful. All right, to that should be good. Uh-huh. Craft up a drone miner. I like that idea. On top of your foundation, right next okay, to the so we need more plates and machinery parts. So let's grab some more plates and rods and see if we can build it now. Nice, the machinery parts will automatically craft. Let's get a little more biomass while we're waiting for that to complete. And beautiful, let's place this thing down right like so. Oh, that looks good. Let's actually rotate that so the panel is close to me. Nice. So I'll craft a biomass burner, which will be our power supply. And the power goes through these little plates on the ground. So if we put the burner up on this, uh, anything that's attached to these plates will be powered by it. Cool, we'll grab this one, shove it down here, pop it in right like so, nice. That's gonna power that thing nicely. So we'll put in a little bit of biomass. Oh, it goes down here, whoops. Go watch your mining drones acquire your oh, first ore. I will. Ore. Thanks, Carl. Aren't they beautiful? Uh, oh, look at the Anyways, little guy. We need hey. to get going. Oh, Let's where are we going? A smelter, next. a smelter? Sure, we could do that. These guys are mining right away. I like that. I'm proud of them. They're just going to constantly get me more and more resources. I kind of want to get rid of all of these things first. I don't know why. They just kind of bother me. Just make a nice clean area. There we go, much more efficient. Now these little guys are gonna continue to mine while they do that. The game wants me to make a smelter, but I'm kind of of the opinion that I wanna build another factory first. So let's go to the technium ore. We're gonna do that same thing we just did. So I took out all the ore rubble and we're gonna place these in to start making more plates and rods. And since these are kind of on a line with each other, I'm gonna try to build up a smelter in the middle. If I remove these blocks, and the trees, of course, we don't really need them. We should be able to connect these two platforms together and then the power will spread all the way over here. We'll probably make a centralized power facility, but not yet because I need the drone over here and stuff too. So let's craft up another drone miner that we'll place down right next to this. Of course, we want that panel there. Good, go little drones. Hopefully there's enough power for it. Yeah, there's enough power. This is good. I mean, it is low power yield, but it should be fine. That one little biomass. But at least both of these are connected now. So we can build the smelter next. And I'm gonna build a little platform here in the middle. Place it down on the foundation. I mean, it wanted me to put it next to it, but let's build it up over here instead. I'll do a little three by three platform. I'm thinking that's good enough size. Let's check it out. The smelter, put that down. Six, oh yeah, that'll be good. Perfect. Let's build it right here instead. Hey, there we the go. Smelter is more efficient okay. Than the inbuilt drop good. Smelter. So you should start using okay, I can do that. On. Thank you, Carl. Another benefit is that we can automate the smelters uh -huh. to make our life easier. We can connect For it this, with the conveyor belts. connect the drone miner to a smelter by using loaders and conveyor belts. That's not too hard to do. 
Hmm. Please go ahead and connect them while I'm notifying Mission Command on our progress. Okay, we can do that. Interesting idea, Communication though. Communication link establishment failure. Uh-oh. Curiously, uh, I find myself unable to make contact that's with not Mission good. Command. I mean, it's probably fine. So I made up the two loaders, and it wants me to make 20 conveyors. I can make three. Oh, boy. Wow, conveyors are kind of expensive. That's fine, though, because I need to manage that inventory anyway. Yep, we still have 93 of those remaining. I guess we could turn this on. Manage inventory here, put that over in the input. Yeah, and then it's going to make the plates. That's going to be a lot faster than that thing is. But we can only do one at a time. So let's manage this inventory, take these. Oh, that does go quite a bit quicker. Cool. Let's grab those. Mine. Okay, it did just get to become nighttime. I'm going to put up a smelter on this thing, too. Ah, should I? I don't know if I want to. Let's do one over here. We're going to do two smelters. One for each of the resource, and then we'll use the loader to haul it from there over to here. Okay, so we can place this down like so. The belt comes out there, and the belt also needs to go in. So it's a little bit dark out here. Ooh, also I probably just realized that we need a conveyor belt that goes up and down. A sloped one to get down here. So let's make sure we have that one ready to go. We'll place that right here. Hmm, we need it to go down. Rotate. Okay, can I switch it to go down? Okay, that works. Perfect. All right, conveyor belt here. I want you to come out this way and then that way. And I'm going to rotate you to go that way. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, little friends, come on. The weather's nice. We're going to go on a little vacation. Why don't you come over this way? It'll be nice and warm over where we're going. You're going to get nice and smelted. Cool. And then I think that should work. It looks like it. Unless I need to feed into it directly, which we could do. Let's just see, does it does it function? Ah. However, I do feel like I can get it to work. Uh-huh. Oh no, and then that way. Right. So the good news is I remembered that the conveyors don't have to be on the actual belts themselves, or on the these things. So I don't have to put them there and I can just do this and that should work a little better We'll feed into the side of this thing and then over here. We'll probably bring this back to like a storage unit Let's just make sure this works first. Uh-huh. So gonna feed up It looks like it. We have 80 79 Are you working? Oh, it's not on the foundation. Okay, so the intake has to be on the foundation That does make sense because it needs to be powered. So this should work very nice. Building, turn around. Beautiful belt. I always like it when games tell you what's happening. Yes, that's working. Woo. Good. Are we getting more? There it is. Nope, that's the output. Intake. Should be going in. And we'll do the same thing over here. Just like so that iron, I'm going to call it iron because it looks more like iron is going to go over here. Beautiful. It's being populated. Good. That's exactly what we needed. Make them technum rods. Now we need to build two more smelters, which we can easily do because we have lots of money now. And by money, I mean raw resources. So we're going to do the opposite here. Yep. I kind of want it to be right about there. Too wide in between. Sure. We'll do that one there and we'll do this one right here. Nice. Hmm, I'm not sure if I can split this right now. I might need to get things researched before I can split off of that. Because if I just do that, it's it's not going to do anything. So I'll delete this one real quick. Might be able to use one of these things to take it off of there. We should try. It's scientific. It might be able to pull it out. We'll see. If it does, that's going to be good. If not, I'm not too concerned about it. Especially since I need to craft more conveyors and we'll get more of this working. Yeah, no buildings. So let's just see. Uh-huh. I need you to turn, buddy. There you go. Let's just try the outtake here. Output. Yeah, I didn't think that could pull off of another conveyor belt. All right. It's always good to test things in games. But I do know the game wants us to build a research thing now. Craft a research server. Okay, we can totally do that. So, Mr. Research Server, how big are you going to be? That's the real question. Oh my goodness. I figured you are going to be large. So, we can use you anywhere through here. I just need to put down a little bit more space on the ground. This is also going to bother me because I made these two wide and the Research Server is three wide. 
Uh, we might need to fix that. Let's just place it down quick. Where's that panel? The panel is right there. Okay. To advance in research, Ooh. you will need to build science packs. Okay, science packs. Craft a few by hand. I don't want to craft them by hand. It's all about building machines, my friend. Blueprint. Fine, I'll build them by hand. How many? One, two, three. I don't have enough machinery parts. Thankfully, people are building things for me. Give me that. Give me that. Now I should be able to craft more. Good. I also couldn't help myself. I had to do it. Turn around. Building belt. We'll place down another conveyor belt right here. Good. So that's going to work. And now we have... A freeway over here. It's three wide. Works better. Let's give them the science packs that we just got. It should research these up. We are going to want the emergency beacon. Perfect. Start that research. I also just recognized in order to do the next thing, we're going to need to get the assembler, which will make us the research packs for us. And I'm going to have to rework how these two things work as well. Unless I do something a little bit different. I still need to get the conveyor splitter. Let's see if I can find one in here. I did find explosives. I'm always good at that. Ooh, research complete. We can also get the assembler going. It takes five of the things. But we need to craft the emergency beacon first. So where would that be? Right here? Sure. I'm just trying to think of how I can best optimize my, my conveyor belt system. Because that's what these games are all about, right? All right. Emergency pod is ready. Let us call that in down to here. Number eight going in. We'll bring it over here because the game told me to place it a long way away. Then we press the button on it. Where is the button? Button. Send emergency signal. Great. Now you might want to take a step back and look up. And look up. Oh my goodness. They were there ready and prepared to drop that thing in right on top. Hot dang. A real groundbreaker. Oh. This corporate Great. command companion bureaucrat bot. C3 bureaucrat BD bot. For short, Can I make it go away? Establish a connection with Mission Command. Hi. First, oh, let's great. help him out of that. I don't want to. By deconstructing and placing it in a safe location. Okay. Deconstructing. Excellent. <laughs> now I need to place it in a safe location. Where would that be? Maybe right next to my other command bot. Oh, it's kind of tiny. I kind of like it. We'll build it over here just to see what happens. Hey, little friend. Welcome to the Aww, he's adorable. We have activated this emergency beacon because we are having trouble communicating. Yes, we with have. Mission Command. Thank you, Carl. Your big help. What are you gonna do, friend? Critical damage on the Mission Command space station. You said. Oh, the space station. Explosive disassembly. That's extremely troubling. What now? Are we trapped here? No. We'll just make our own rocket. Construct a self-sufficient manufacturing Oh, good. Facility. We get to construct a self-sufficient manufacturing. Aid. Yeah. We'll provide the emergency aid you need. Sounds good to me. I think the next thing I want to do is totally get those, uh, that assembler going. So I can start assembling the science on my own. Do I have to talk to him? Oh, I do. Research assembler. I, that's exactly the task I was supposed to do. Also, I can pet him, which You're is right. weird because he's a robot. Okay, I'm gonna give them the... I thought I made five science packs. Oh, they're still being made right now. All right. All right, looks like all of our research pods are ready to go. We'll activate those in there. Uh-huh. Below optimal research speed could be caused by insufficient power. I figured that was gonna happen soon. I guess we could put down more of those re uh, science power stations. My goodness, biomass burners. I wouldn't mind. Oh, that's almost out of power anyway. So let's just discombobulate this one for a second. Thank you. We'll move these back down to our bar, put them down together. They will be friends. Very nice. All right, manage inventory. You can have a hundred. And you fell over here. You know, I could just press that button. That'd be easier. Nice. All right, good power. That still doesn't have power. But let's get the assembler going. Start research. Ooh, I believe the assembler has just been unlocked. Little beep boop here is gonna like that. All right, research assembler. Thank you. Great. The assembler will serve as the ah. foundation for mass producing the Good. most commonly required items. Yeah, Connor, the days of handcrafting. Hand That's fantastic. So I want to build one of those assemblers to assemble C3 the science BB pods. Has been able to establish oh. a limited oh, good. connection to the focus on scaling. Yes, up. scaling. Scaling is a good idea. So is optimizing our flow. So I need to make the assembler to make more of the research, which takes the, the rods and the machinery parts. Machinery parts are made from the plates, if I remember right. They're right here. 
Yeah, so the plates go into the rods. We need to make an assembler to make that, and then we need to make the science pods to go into here. I also think it might be advantageous if we move the these things back to here, and then we can just send out the raw resources. So let's do a little bit of retrofitting. I'm gonna pull out of the building two of these, like such as and such as. They're gonna go on the belts. We're gonna bring the belt, and just because I'm annoyed that it's a level up, we're gonna use, we're gonna go down a level. That means I'll need to craft some more conveyor belts and one more slope. We'll bring the conveyors out of here. I didn't want to build more conveyors. I wanted to build more of the floor pieces. Oh well. Do we have to build underneath to get the power to transfer? So that's what I did there. So we'll have the smelters. I'm gonna put the panel on the side, but that's not exactly what we need. We need to get the these things. We'll turn it back, but I need to have a belt there and we have to have a belt there so we can put those in like so. And those will feed into the smelters that I've made up now. I hope. Yes, that's working so much better, beautiful. I still need to have the conveyors go together, but I think I might be able to do that in a different way. And that's by crafting up a crate. Now I haven't used the crate, so I think I can turn it. Does this get automatically fed? I don't know if it does. Who? let's see. I don't know if that automatically feeds because it doesn't have anything on it. Is it connected? No buildings, all right. But if I get the basic infrastructure pack, I can get a container, which should be what I need. So let's get the basic infrastructure. Takes five more science packs. Ooh, nice, basic infrastructure is completed. I always hit escape instead of Z. Uh, we need to put this in, research interface. Now we should get, ooh, the loader. The door, we don't want doors, we don't want stairs, we don't want ladders. The container is what I'm looking for, I think. Large container to store items cannot be atomized, automized with loaders. Ooh, interesting. I thought it could. Well, I mean, the conveyor balancer allows to split, merge, or balance, so that's a really good choice, but it takes 20 science packs. Let's just see what the container does. Also, that takes 15 science. My goodness. We really need to get these assemblers made up. Thankfully, I did craft one up. So let's try plopping that down right over here. Okay, it's a three by three, which I wasn't quite expecting. So we'll make sure we have a belt being fed into the new building. We'll place this down. My goodness, that's big. Right here. Good. So this thing is gonna craft us up the machine parts that we need, machinery parts. Oh, it needs the plates first, but we're getting the plates, aren't we? Did I put that on? I think I did. <laughs> Whoops, uh, let's cancel that quick. Z button to move it. I think I put the uh, the panel right there. We don't need the panel right there. We do need the plates being output. Oh, I hear it, it turned on. <laughs> we're making machine parts and a lot of them. Okay, good. So machine parts plus Tectum rods makes the science pack. We have a lot of these rods. They're being crafted like crazy. And I'm just trying to figure out the best place to combine them at. I don't really want to do it right through here, but I did kind of mess that up. Maybe I should make that guy in this one, or I can run it back over and across. We can do another assembler back here. Okay, so I think what I've decided to do is move that assembler over there. I'm gonna to have to craft another assembler. Then we're gonna build up a platform in the back right here with a little three by three platform. Excellent, we'll put in another one there. So that's getting power from this assembler. We will take the panel to the back side. I'll need to delete this one, put down another thing here. Slap in another input thingy my bob, like such as. Make sure it has conveyor belts going into it. Good. We're gonna do an outtake on there. So it's gonna bring the machine parts down from the belt. We'll go into this side. And then I'll bring these out along here. Should be a little bit easier. Ooh, do they float? Oh, they do. I didn't know they floated. That's cool. I think, yep, and then we'll bring it back this way. Oh, one off. I want it to go in the middle. I don't know why, I just want it to be in the middle. Get gone, trees. All right, we also need to build up here with some flooring spaces. We'll put in this one right like so, building there. Conveyor belt going into it, and bingo, bongo, this should be good. 
Okay, one more. Uh huh. And then straight and turn. And then straight and I said turn. And turn. Will you turn? It's not turning. Let's build a block under it. Now it'll turn. Good. So make sure that goes to output so it'll start taking those metal rods out. And that'll bring it all the way across back into the big assembler button. And Mr. Assembler needs to start crafting us up the science packs. So it's got the machine parts from one side and the metal rods are coming from the back. It's working! We've got science packs being created. This is fantastic, we're doing so well. Lieutenant Dingle wants us to make another, ooh, expand smelters. I like that idea. Thank you, Beep Boop. I don't even know what that means. Okay, math oh. genius. If it takes uh -huh. eight small yeah. smelters to fill up a conveyor belt, eight then smelters. We'll build eight for each metal ore. Eight smelters for each metal ore? Whoa! I mean, I was just excited that I got this thing working. I mean, mostly it's still not working yet because I, I totally forgot to hook it up. All right, we'll do that. And then we have the belt that goes, oh, what are you doing? Oh, I ran out of belts. <laughs> Gotta make sure it goes into the building properly. We're gonna have to do an up ski. Do a rotate to go up like so, nice. We'll make sure it goes in there and then connect these two. Then connect these, I am one short, really? There we go. Now you are gonna be output. The science packs are being extracted. Yeah. We're gonna get that container in no time flat. Ooh, there's better generators here too. The burner generator, larger low voltage generator automated. Ooh, it can be automated. Wow, we can chop down trees automatically. There's also the explosives that we found before. A better mining drill upgrades. Those are cool. So what happens if we change research in the middle of a thingy? I, I don't know if I want to. Okay, we pause it. If we do it on, no, we have to continue one before we do another one. Okay, I really want to get that conveyor splitter because that seems to be very, very nice. Balancer, sorry. Because all of these machines are now backed up. Every single one of them. Even the, the miners over here. The mining guys aren't even doing anything because they're full. So everything is backed up because I'm not processing enough materials and it seems like all of the systems go into science. These things are just so slow producing the science packs too, that I almost need more assemblers just doing that. Let's try building one more here to see what we can do with it. I think that's one of the fun things about games like this is it takes a lot of understanding how to make things work properly. So we can do this, it's gonna be weird. We're gonna have like another science pack here. But then what I want to do is rotate, Wait, hold on, does that actually feed into the other one? I don't think it would. We'll do that, and then I'll switch this one over to feed here. Of course, we'll put in another loader into there. Another one of these things, so that should take more machine parts if I press this button right like so. Then I'll build up a buttload more conveyors. Oh, nice, the container's been done. So it did say that we can't automate with it, but I still wanted to build one just to see. So we'll plug that in just to see if it will work how I think it will. Yep, it's gonna be making more science packs. Are we getting, yep, these things are coming in nicely. Now the problem is I have to feed into here again. And the only way I really know how to do that is by going down and we're gonna try it. So we have to go either up and over. I guess we could go up, that'd be fine. And this is when we start making the ultimate spaghetti monster. Great. All right, I'm gonna go around this rock because it's annoying me. Uh-huh, turn, there it is. And then we need to come right to this one. So we'll come up like two. It wouldn't be a factory game without creating massive amounts of spaghetti, wouldn't it? Okay, we need one more injector loader. We'll place that down like we should. Put the one more thing in here. Nice, all right, that should come out. Wrong button. There it is, toggle, output. Science packs being released, excellent. We have no active research, but we can change the research. Man, I want this so bad. But the game's telling me I need this, so let's get the character development. That's only five, it should take 20 seconds to get there. We probably have way more than enough. Oh, we only have three right now. Are you not functioning, friend? Hey, <laughs> we've actually ran out of machine parts. That's a good sign, I think. You have machine parts? Yeah, you have 29 in you. You've got 15. All right, so these two are making these two assemblers work, which is good. Um. I didn't turn this to output either, so output, good. 
So both of these should be outputting. Are you managed? All right, that's doing well. Oh, this is good. The science packs are stacking up now, which means we should have enough in the research to be able to get this. Yep, yep, it's working. Are you ready for the fun sound? Ah, oh, there it was, that was nice. Okay, science pack number two. Ooh, we need multiple things for this. Looks like we need to unlock the burner generator first. Okay, so if I'm gonna do the burner generator, I do wanna get that conveyor. So the game really wanted me to make two more smelters for each of these things too. I think it was four smelters each. So I figured we could come over here and bring them down and then turn them like so. We'll bring you straight. Ah, oh, ran out. I always run out of conveyor belts. And we can build the two more smelters right here and here. We want the panels on the outside so we can bring out the goods out the front, I think. It's kind of what I want to do here too. We should really rotate you. All right, this is looking really good. We're getting way a lot. Oh, I'm running out of conveyors yet again. Thankfully, they're very quick to make. Good. So we have two more of these that are making more plates. Excellent. Our factory is growing. Conveyor balancer researching is going well. And I tell you what, my friends, that'll do it for this first video of Foundry. I hope you enjoyed it. It's quite a fun game. I'd encourage you to click on that link down below in the video description to get it for yourself because it did just release today, May 2nd, 2024. And this was a sponsored video. So keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hibius, General Harris, Trent M, Kudino, Keegan H, Lewis C, Zarnoff, Maxer, Ralph, BC Engineers, Cars and Wax, Whiskey, YH, Gun Jam, Doug Rules, Fred, Dalton C, Scander D, Peyton Plays, Fussy Badge, Ritla Warrior, Link Hewitt, Kyler J, Nitrox, Wyatt K, Grim Reaper, Kaitsu, Rob Rugby, Terrano, and Abram G.